All right, what's going on guys? Logs here. Hope you have a great day. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're reacting to one of the most underrated Warzone players of all time. I mean, this guy is insane. He goes by the name Shady. He's actually a good friend of mine and I play with him a lot on Warzone. And this guy's broken a ton of world records. The only problem is he doesn't upload anything. He doesn't post videos. He doesn't post anything. I've been telling him and telling him to upload these gameplays and he actually finally did. He just posted it and it's a 39 kills in solo vs quads world record. Now it's not the number one in the world for solo vs quads, but it's super high up there. So let's just look at his stats real quick. All right, so we're over on his stats. He has a 4.05 KD. Uh, he's second in the world for quad versus quads. He's number two in the world right now. And then this is the gameplay we're gonna be watching today. He's 11th in the world for solo versus quads. He got 39 kills in solo versus quads. Absolutely insane. Uh, he got this on December 31st. So it's been a while. I think when he first got it, he was in the top five, but you know, it's been a couple weeks or over a week now. So he's dropped down to 11th, but he still has uh, 12th in the world for duo trios. This guy's absolutely insane. So that's the gameplay we're gonna be watching today. And if we go over to world records, right here in a caldera solo vs quads you're gonna find him i mean there's huskers you're gonna find him right here as 11th so yeah he's number 11th in the world so we're gonna watch him today so let's just jump right into it i just want to put a shout out right now for that awesome intro if any of you watching want to make me an intro i would love one i'll pay for it uh so just hit me up on twitter if you can find it or make an intro for me um, so he's dropping in fields. It's just one of my favorite drops, and I know one of his favorite drops. Um, he's playing solo quad, so he has to play very, very cautious. He's really just aim walking right now, trying to sound whore. Gets it down, pulls out the secondary. Saw the guy up there move. He knows he's going to flank left. Flank left, I should say. It was actually a duo. So there's a duo in the... Oh! No, that was a solo player he killed. Okay, so he killed a solo player, and now the guy he downed, his teammates are finally on him, so he definitely knows that there's more coming. And you're gonna see throughout this video, uh, I didn't watch the full thing, I, I, I talked to him as right after he got this video, he, he, you know, we talked in Discord and he was freaking out. But uh, you're going to see that a lot of these players are not great players, it's, it's a, kind of a bot lobby, but uh, Oh my god, he really... That UAV just saved him there. So the MP40 ground loot, dude. I absolutely love the MP40. It's my favorite game in Warzone. Or my favorite gun in Warzone. That guy just is a free kill. He just flies into him. I'm guessing that was the teammate of the guy he just killed. Because no other person would just fly in on top like that. Like, you just super ego chow. So he knows that they're coming because of the UAV. Insane down. SCG MP40 are insane. I can't believe they're going to get nerfed. Well, at least the MP40 is going to get nerfed. We don't know about the SCG yet. Um, I'm sure it will, though. Sad to say, because they are both really fun guns. MP40 ground loot's like my favorite ground loot ever. Just team wipes that guy. He's a TTV Twitch streamer. And he's already got 7 up with 96 left. You know you have a good game when you can get, you know, 7 to 10 kills with still 90 up uh, or 100 up, 100 would be perfect right now. But playing solo quads is very hard. Um, you gotta be real crazy to play, what, what what the hell? Sorry about that guys, I don't know what happened, uh, but we're right back in it. <laughs> and uh, he sees this guy shooting, he doesn't have a UAV anymore. Gonna live ping him so he can shoot him through the vegetation if the live ping stays. So he kills that one kill, it turns into a team wipe. So he knows he's shooting at someone else, so he's gonna probably flank over. And as you can see at the top left, it's kind of hard to see because the, the resolution's not the best. Um, but he's getting 100, just above 100 frames, 115, 120. All right, he's got that guy self res. Okay, so he went to the guy who self res first, knowing that he can down him in one kill or one shot. And then he gets the teammate who revived him. So one thing you can tell is that he plays sound. You gotta play sound. You gotta sound whore if you're playing solo quads. But like I mentioned, he's got really low frames. So just go to show you guys, if you're playing or struggling in a war zone and you think it's because of your frames and you're getting uh, under 100 on PC, this guy's got just at 100. So I know he's got a 3060 Ti and Caldera is very taxing. Um, so all you console players out there stuck on 60 FPS, I feel for you. It sucks. I'm sorry. 
but they're not gonna they're not gonna get not gonna get an update for a while i don't think that's gonna increase your frames unfortunately console is just it's just bad right now that's the best way to put it he's only getting team wipes so there's a lot of like solo or duo teams he sound whores that guy he hears him Notice he's not sliding around everywhere. Notice he's just running like normal. He doesn't, you don't have to be a demon slider to get these nine, Enemy nine kills. You really have to sound whore. I mean, this guy is sound whoring more than anyone I think I've heard or seen before. Didn't slide on that kill. Didn't probably didn't need to. A lot of these guys don't like to be the best players. Um, I believe he got this gameplay bright and early. I'm talking nine o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, which is by far better to play early in the morning than late at night when all the demons get home and get off uh, their taco bell shift and they just start frying out on warzone but yeah man anything after you know 12 or 2 that's when uh people start getting better i've noticed and i play in the mornings because i work really late i get off work at 2 a.m so i play really late or i'm sorry i play really early in the morning and that's when i found the best bot lobbies so this is definitely an early morning lobby because he actually sent it to me right when he got it, and I remember it being pretty early. He stimmed right there just to get closer and get the finish. And he's got the gas to his back, a horrible position, because he's got to go uphill, and he's fighting a team. He got the team wipe, though. But because he doesn't have a suppressor, he's going to show up on the map. So it's going to be eager to see what he does to get out of this. He's in a really bad position. If anyone is up there in front of him, they can easily hold him. But right now he's got 68 up of 19 kills. That guy's perched up. Oh my god, that guy was just camping. He's actually out of ammo on his Bryn. Uh, this is a hard play. He could either go to the left and try to get ammo on that ammo box. Or he can just try to fly somewhere. Or maybe loot for ammo. Ammo, like when it comes down to the nitty gritty, ammo is hard to find sometimes when you really need it. I run fully loaded on all my classes. Um... Except for like ghost class because I have fully loaded on the pistol But we're not gonna get into all that right now There's a lot of campers in this game man. Looks like a lot of uh, bot players That guy has a pistol that guy must have just came back from ghoulie or I don't know This might be the ultimate bot lobby. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This might be the ultimate bot lobby. Look at that He's got 24 with 57 up That's when you know it's gonna be a good game when you get this. So this is yeah, this was back. This is a little bit older. This was back in December 31st. So still had Krampus, all that. And I believe during this time you had the jailbreak or one of the one of the things, maybe like unlimited gulag or something. I think unlimited gulag because it might have helped him out. Got another kill there. He's got 25 with 52 up. Dude, having 25 with 50 up. You could be on track to get at least 40. And we already know that he gets 39 here for the world record, but he could get a lot more, especially in this game. This is a really good game. I'm eager to see if he actually tries to go for the bounty on the right. He probably doesn't because the gas is so on his ass. But big game bounties are huge. And I've, I've watched a lot of videos on big game bounties. They, oh no, that's a nice shot. Pretty far too. But I've, lost, I've watched a lot of videos on big game bounties. They do not do what they're supposed to do. You're supposed to pick up a big game bounty and it marks who it marks the bounty as whatever team or whatever player has a lot of kills is like frying. That's not the case at all. It's just whoever is around you in pr close proximity that has, you know, the most amount of kills, like a few kills. It could even be one kill. Um, but it really is whoever's in proximity of you like the normal bounty. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Right now he's fought, fighting in Nacht der Untunten, or however you pronounce it. The War at War map, uh, Nazi zombie map. The first ever Nazi zombie map is, uh, what he just went through right there. A bunker. It's pretty cool Easter eggs, all these little maps that they put in. Macon is over there on the right side of him, too. I love the old maps, like Macon and that, that one he just played. I wish they would bring that one he... The, the original Nazi zombie map to Vanguard. Uh, but I don't know, Vanguard zombies is absolutely horrendous. I think it's the worst that's ever been put out other than the World War II zombies. But he's got 29 with 20 up. Easily can get 10 kills here, which we're gonna watch him do. 
So he's got guys on his left shooting at him, but guys on the right behind him on the radar. He really has to play it smart. Kills the first guy who shot at him because he knows that he's there. Turn around. He's got the high ground on the people down below. He's probably just going to scope it out. Try to get a few kills here. He's actually in pretty good spot other than behind him where people could have a high ground on him. But he's actually in a pretty good position right here. Here's glass break. He sees people running. There's one. We saw another guy up top shoot the other guy on the right. Yeah, there's multiple people. That's a good play. Getting that guy down and then going to go for the other guy at the top. Air striking. That's a really good play. Not going to worry about getting the full. The air strike's going to take him out. But he... And it takes the other guy out. That airstrike was perfect. It took out the guy on the ground and the guy jumping down. That was an absolutely perfect airstrike. He probably didn't even mean to do that. Or maybe he did. He's, he's way smarter than me. I'll tell you that. But he sees a guy at the buy station on the map, but he knows that there's people over here on the right. He's just going to fry them. Absolutely annihilation. He doesn't even have to go for this guy because he's in the gas. He just had to kind of wait it out. The guy in the gas is going to die anyways. He's going to down him either way. So he saw people on the map where this buy station is. So he really needs to look on the left. He really needs to scope this building out. Yep. Scoped it out like I was talking about. Broke his armor with fire rounds. Sound whores that guy. And kills the other one. Absolutely frying. He's got 37. There's only two more. I don't know if he gets the win, to be honest with you guys. I have not watched this whole gameplay, so this is the first time you're watching it. He's got at least two more kills that he's going to get. I'm wondering if he gets the win or not. If so, he's saying, where are the last guys at? See, it went last circle like this and you can't find anyone. It's, it's difficult, especially when you're solo quadding it. This is the once in a lifetime game too. I mean, you don't get lobbies like this all the time. I mean, these guys were, these guys were not the brightest. That guy's going for a freaking loadout at this time. Craziness, he probably only had a pistol. So he's got one more kill to get. That's gonna be it right there. Maybe, oh, this is where he dies, I bet. The push, the stimmy push. Oh. That is, that is tough. See, he didn't have the alert saying that their airstrike was close. So that really hurt him there because he wouldn't have died otherwise. Dude, what a precision. If he had that alert saying that the airstrike was coming, he wouldn't have pushed like that. Especially with the stem. Okay, he sees him here. It's the quick swapped weapons. He gets this kill. And that airstrike has got to take him out. Yeah, it's probably going to take him out. Or this guy's going to take him out. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Ends it with 39. That's going to be the video, guys. Tell me in the comments who you guys want me to react to next. It's super unfortunate for Shady. I wish he could have got more there. He could have actually gone up on the leaderboards. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out Shady. I'll leave a link in the description. He's got barely any subs. And I'm going to make him upload more. Like, I'm telling you, I'm going to make him upload more. Also, tell me who you guys want me to react to in the future. And we'll react to them in the future. I'm Logs, I'm out. Deuces.